Um, okay, yeah, so I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about software in the era of AI. And I'm told that many of you are students, like bachelors, masters, PhD, and so on, and you're about to enter the industry. And I think it's actually like an extremely unique and very interesting time to enter the industry right now. And I think fundamentally the reason for that is that um, software is changing uh, again. Now, so far, all of the neural networks that we've been familiar with until recently were kind of like fixed function computers, image to uh, categories or something like that. And I think what's changed, and I think is a qu quite fundamental change, is that neural networks became programmable with la large language models. And so I, I see this as quite new, unique, it's a new kind of a computer. And uh, so in my mind, it's uh, worth giving it a new designation of software 3.0. And basically, your prompts are now programs that program the LLM. And uh, remarkably, uh, these uh, prompts are written in English. So it's kind of a very interesting programming language. Um, so maybe uh, to uh, summarize the difference, if you're doing sentiment classification, for example, you can imagine uh, writing some uh, amount of Python to, to basically do sentiment classification, or you can train a neural net, or you can prompt a large language model, uh, is that remarkably we're now programming computers in English. Now, when I was at uh, Tesla, um, we were working on the uh, autopilot, and uh, we were trying to get the car to drive. And I sort of showed the slide at the time where you can imagine that the inputs to the car are on the bottom, and they're going through a software stack to produce the steering and acceleration. And I made the observation at the time that there was a ton of C++ code around in the autopilot, which was the software 1.0 code, and then there was some neural nets in there doing image recognition. And uh, I kind of observed that over time as we made the autopilot better, basically the neural network grew in capability and size, and in addition to that, all the C++ code was being deleted and kind of like was, um, and a lot of the kind of capabilities and functionality that was originally written in 1.0 was migrated to 2.0. So I thought this was really remarkable at the time. And I think we're seeing the same thing again, where uh, basically we have a new kind of software and it's eating through the stack. We have three completely different programming paradigms. And I think if you're entering the industry, it's a very good idea to be fluent in all of them because they all have slight pros and cons, and you may want to program some functionality in 1.0 or 2.0 or 3.0.